Today we are building an income tracker in Notion from scratch. We are going to have the list view where I can see all of my payments automatically sorted in order. We are going to have it broken down by source so I can see Etsy and my job. We are going to have it in a calendar view where I can see all the payments on a calendar and we are going to see it broken down in a chart. This is a Notion tutorial for beginners on how to build an income tracker in Notion. If you find this helpful, subscribe. All right, so let's dive into it. The first thing we are going to need is a database. So we're going to do forward slash data. And here we will click on table view. Then I'll create a new table. So we can call this income. Now let's work with the properties here. So columns in Notion are the same thing as properties. So if you're not seeing this tags property, I'll just delete this so you can see it. The first thing we're going to do is change it from name to receipt. Now we're going to add a property, AKA add a column, and this is going to be the amount. So we'll click on number and I'll call this amount. We'll add another property and this will be the date property as you want to know when you got paid. And then lastly, we're going to add one more and this is going to be the select property and this will be the source. So most likely if you are doing this, you'll probably want to know all the different sources of income that you have. So we have the date, receipt, amount, source. And what we're going to do here is add a sorting. So here are my receipts, hypothetically, and let's say I add some dates to it. So we'll do this. Let's say I get paid every Thursday. Now what could happen is these can get mixed around like that, so they're not in order. And instead of us having to manually order these, we can use the sort feature for it to automatically do that for us. So we'll click on sort, and then we want to sort this in order by the date. So now you can see we can say ascending or descending. So September 19th, 12th and 5th. So this is automatically done. So if we add a date to this, let's say the 10th of October, you can see it jumps up in the queue. Okay, let's say this income pays us $1,000. So what we can do here is hover over calculate and we can do more options and here say sum. So it will automatically add up everything in here. All right, for the source here, let's say that this is for your job and same for this and same for this. Now, let's say we have another source, which is probably likely, hence you're watching an income tracker video. So let's add another one here and let's just do it as the 11th. As you can see, it appears between these. Add the receipt number and then the amount here, let's say $90. And we can say that this is from our digital product business. So I'll say Etsy. By the way, if you wanna learn how to sell digital products, there's a link in my description. And then let's just add one more in here. Let's do, and this will be $120 and also Etsy. What I wanna be able to see here is how much I've made per income source. So I have the job and I have Etsy and I might have some more. Sorry to interrupt, if you like building in Notion, you are going to love my course, Productive with Notion. It is all about using the best productivity techniques and implementing them into Notion to be genuinely productive. Link in the description, depending on when you're seeing this, it is the wait list or the course is live. So what we can do here is duplicate this table and this is going to be broken down by source. So I can call it source and we're going to keep it as a list and we're even going to keep this sort. So when we duplicate this, we actually duplicate the settings. So we are keeping the sort here, as you can see. But what we want to add to this is a group. So we're going to click on the three dots and click on group. And you can group by anything here, but what we want to group by is the source. So now I have the normal list of everything and I have it broken down by source. Now, why do we have the receipt here? Well, what you can do is click on open and not just have the name, but you can literally drag the PDF right in here. That's what I do and it's really, really useful down the line when you need to find the receipts quickly. Now, the next thing that I want is a calendar to see when all these payments are coming through. So I'm going to right click on table once again and do duplicate and I will call this calendar and we can even add an icon here. So let's say calendar, there we go. And we'll click on the layout and here I'm going to click on calendar. So now, as you can see, it says one, two, three, four, five, six. This is quite confusing to me as I can't see the other information. But what we're going to do here to fix this is click on the three dots. We're going to click on properties. And here we are going to click on the source and we're going to click on the amount. So I can see visually on a calendar when these payments are coming through, which is really, really useful. Now, the last thing to a really good income tracker is this bit here, the actual pie chart. Now, if you haven't seen, Notion has a new update, which is all about charts. And I'll show you how we can break down this information here in a very useful chart. So we'll do right click on table once again and do duplicate and we'll type chart and we'll add a little icon and we'll change the layout to chart. Now, if you're new to Notion, this might be confusing. As you can see, we are seeing the same information here in these tabs just displayed to us in different views and with different settings. 
And those settings are filters, sort, and groups. So databases are really, really powerful. So this chart tab here, we are going to change to a chart. And now you can see here we have Etsy 2 and Job 3. Now this doesn't actually help me that much. It's telling me here, you have been paid by your job three times and you've been paid by Etsy twice. Now that's not very helpful. So what we're going to do is click on the three dots again, and here we can see all of the different information. So let's say I want to see this as a donut because that's typically how we look at income. And here it says, what do you want to show in the donut? So it is the source. So here we can see job and Etsy. And the problem is it's counting the payments still. It's not saying how much we've been paid. So we're going to change this. Each slice represents count to the amount and we want the sum. So that way it is adding it up. So now I can see job 3000 and Etsy 210. If you want to see my all-in-one productivity template, then check out headquarters, which is linked right here. It is the all-in-one Notion productivity template with over 1,500 users and a five-star rating. You will absolutely love it.